What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Network Plus N10 007 certification. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about various networking cables, plenum versus PVC, and networking cable connector types. All right, let's talk about some media types. And the first one is copper. So we have what is called shielded twisted pair and unshielded twisted pair. So twisted pair cabling, this is a type of wiring in which two conductors of a single circuit are twisted together for the purposes of improving electromagnetic compatibility. Twisted pair cabling is the most common of the major cabling types. Twisted pair cabling typically consists of four twisted pairs of wires surrounded by a flexible jacket, also known as untwisted pair cabling or various types of metal foil or braid known as shielded twisted pair. Shielded twisted pair and unshielded twisted pair use the same RJ45 connector, but shielded twisted pair includes a metal shield for electrical insulation between the wires and the outer jacket. Shielded twisted pair is also stiffer and more durable, yet more expensive and harder to loop through tight spaces than unshielded twisted pair. It is used where electromagnetic interference prevents the use of untwisted twisted pair cable and both cables can be purchased in pre-built assemblies or can be built using bolt cables and connectors. Next we have coaxial and with that we have the RG6 and the RG59 coaxial cable. So coaxial cable, this is the oldest type of networking cable. Its data wires are surrounded by a wire mesh for insulation and prior to the advent of fiber optics, the fastest internet service available to home and business customers was cable internet. And cable internet, this is a form of broadband internet access which uses the same RG6 coaxial cable as a cable television but adds a device called a cable modem to convert the signal for use by computers in home and business networks. RG6 has a 75 ohm resistance and uses an 18 gauge center conductor and is available in quad shielded versions and it can carry signals up to 1.5 gigahertz making it much better for HD TV signals. And then we got the RG59 and this is used in older cable TV or satellite TV installations as well as in closed circuit television security installations. It has a 75 ohm resistance. RG59 uses a 22 gauge center conductor and a single outer shield and it is designed for signals up to 50 megahertz. Next we have fiber. So fiber optics, this is the technology that uses glass or plastic threads to transmit data. A fiber optic cable consists of a bundle of glass threads, each of which is capable of transmitting messages modulated onto light waves. And fiber optics is the fastest type of internet service, which is primarily used as a backbone between networks. In fiber optic cabling, it comes in two major types. You have single mode and multi-mode. So single mode fiber, it has a thin core between 8 to 10 microns and is designed to carry a single light ray long distances up to 60 kilometers or further and single mode cable uses a laser diode as a light source and the typical uses include cable TV and telephone companies. And then you have multi-mode fiber and this has a thicker core of 62 and a half microns and it carries multiple light rays for short distances up to 10 kilometers and multi-mode fiber uses an LED light source and typically uses include local and metropolitan area networks. Next, we have plenum versus PVC. So there are two categories of twisted pair cabling in terms of their fire rating. The first one is standard, and this is suitable for patch cables between network interface cards and a network jack or in a patch panel. And typically, PVC jackets can create a lot of smoke when they are burned. And then you have plenum, and this is designed for use in plenum space, which is a part of a building that can facilitate facilitate air circulation for heating and cooling such as ventilator shafts or under the floors or between suspended ceilings and the permanent ceilings. And plenum cables, they produce less smoke and lower levels of toxic chemicals when burned and they are also commonly self-extinguishing. And plenum cables may be made from Teflon or from a modified version of PVC that produces less smoke when burned than a standard PVC cable. 
All right, let's talk about connector types. And the first one we're going to talk about is RJ45. So the RJ45 connector, this is an eight pin connection used for ethernet network adapters. The connector resembles the RJ11 connector, which is used with telephones in the United States. And this connector most commonly connects to the end of a Cat5 cable, which connects between a computer network card and a network device, such as a network router. And then we have the RJ11, and this is the telephone interface that uses uses a cable of twisted wire pairs and a modular jack with two, four, or six contacts. And RJ11 is the most common connector for plugging a telephone into the wall and the handset into the telephone. Next, we have the BNC connector or the Bayonet Neo Councilman connector. This is a miniature quick connect disconnect radio frequency connector used for coaxial cable. After the BNC connector is inserted, it is turned, causing pins in the socket to be pinched into a locking groove on the plug. And then we have the DB9 connector, and this is a nine pin serial connector, once common on PCs that was used for connecting peripherals like mice and keyboards. The DB9 connector can also be used for serial communications to networking equipment and can be used with DB9 to USB adapters to connect to modern PCs without DB9 ports. Then we have the DB25 connector, and this is an analog socket with 25 pins from the D sub miniatures connector family. And the DB25 connector is mainly used in serial and parallel ports, allowing for asynchronous data transmissions. Then we have the F connector, and this is a coaxial radio frequency connector used for over the air terrestrial television, cable television, and universally for satellite television and cable modems. The F connector can be be crimped or attached via compression to the coaxial cable. In high quality cables, they use a threaded connector. And then we have fiber. So fiber optic devices and cables, they use one of the several connector types. You have the LC connector that uses a square connector. You got the ST that uses a round connector. And then you got the SC that uses a square connector. And then you have the MTRJ connector. And this is very popular for use in small form factor devices due to its small size. All right, so in summary, we have talked about various networking cables, plenum versus PVC, and networking cable connector types. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead, hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Network Plus N10-00 seven certification and until next video ladies and gentlemen peace